so uh, I've been wanting to do this for eight months. My friend gave me an art box um, for my birthday last year. Um, I have opened this <laughs> already. Yeah, has it taken you a year to figure out what's in here? Um, but I, I wanted to make a video of this. I did actually film it in December last year, but I lost the footage because the computer I edit on, like, got broken or something. <laughs> Yeah, my friend gave this to me. Thank you. I think you're probably watching this. Hi. <laughs> so she made this little box. I kept it and everything. And I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. <laughs> Yay! If you're wondering, <laughs> I do play Zelda Breath of the Wild. Still haven't finished the game. I take my time. So um, I believe I had to re back and kind of pack the box and try and find the art supplies. So I believe I have everything in here. Um, I have wanted this for a long time. We used to have one of these, but I think it just ran out. So a metallic gold. And it's got a, a thicker side and then make it small. And then we have a Faber Castell. It's called blue. Just one of my favorite colors, so it's great. And then I believe this is the brush she gave me. I'm trying to drag it down. It's a Master's Touch. It's super soft. Not sure if it's for watercolor or oil. I don't know. And then, <laughs> uh, not sure what brand this is, but <laughs> this is a uh, ink pen, and it's got it's like super feathery. Super close. So that's cool. All right. Then we got a sketchbook, and it's mixed media, because I don't think I have any mixed medias. I have already filled in some pages, maybe I can give a little tour. And I like the size, it's not too big or small. And I'm seeing a theme here, yellow and blue. We have some alcohol markers. We have mint blue, pale blue light, and pale yellow. This is Master's Touch 2. Oh, and it's got brush. I like brush. Chisel. Cool, and then we have, oh, a Faber-Castell. Um, and this is a water-based brush. Got brush end and a tiny one. <laughs> and um, I've actually been using these like a lot, like in like note making and then just I actually used this in the last video, if you've seen So I love these, and they work together pretty well. All right, so I'm just gonna test these out and maybe play around with them. I'm wondering if I can try and use this. I don't have a paint, but I could maybe mix this with water or something. And this is very mixed media, so this is cool. Is it gotta mix? Yeah just work together. Okay, oh, let me give a little tour. I didn't do the first page or the second. <gasps> oh, look at that. That was watching. Uh, I basically, I was just trying to create a character. This was what I was doing for that video in December. And then this was the final one. I was using a prompt that was like, I used three words, braid, no, and in advance. Um, yeah. Oh, have it finished this. This is a Marvel, or DC character, Eris. I haven't finished that. Uh, this drawing scares me, <laughs> but I like how he did the name. Yeah, she's a DC character too. Um, but then I, I did a cartoony version. I know I like this one better, except that weird hair. I like how I did the orb thing a lot better than that. And then... Panther. This is watercolor. Perry. Funny comic I saw thing. This was for school. Art challenge. Ooh, can't see that. Playing for a garden outside. And that's it. Okay. Um, I think I'll just skip that page. Alright. So, um, let's test these out. So, let me open this one first. Got the U mark. Mm. Thin. Thick. Yeah. Oh, 
need to sharpen this. I, I think I use this a lot too. This is really opaque. It's quite smooth. This brush. Let me try and dry these symbols. Then, oh yeah. We have the brush, which I'll swatch for something else. Mm. I tried to chisel side, mint blue. I really like using light wool, that's really light. Ooh, this is really light too. When I do alcohol uh, marker drawings, I definitely use like blue, light blues and yellows a lot. Wait, wait a second, I just looked. I'm missing another yellow. Wee. All right, here we go. This is fresh yellow. It's dark. This looks like a lemon kind of color to me. Then we have Faber Castells. Okay, let me try with um, some water. Wait, let me put this down first. Whoa, <laughs> it just like took it away. It's kind of similar to the mint blue, but just a little bit different. So now the question is, what do I want to draw? Definitely lots of different yellows and blues. So if I want to make one drawing, ah, <gasps> whoa, wait, I just got an idea. There's different kind of um, tones, I don't know what the word is, of different blues, and some of them might not work together. I could do something where I do two different drawings and make one of them more bright with like these, and then I make a different drawing with, I could add like that and make like a, a dark drawing and then a light, so like a uh, opposite kind of. Um, let me just get some inspiration right now. Hello, this is voiceover Emmy. I was very focused, I think, so I didn't really talk. Um, so yeah, I didn't know what to do, so I just looked around on Pinterest and then saw someone's uh, version of, like, a stylistic uh, hippogriff drawing. I'm actually surprised because I've only drawn hippogriffs one, yeah, one time, and besides dragons, they're probably, like, one of my favorite um, creatures, or mythical creatures. Um, so I played around with the colors for this one. I s realized that the pencil made a good, like, line art for the lighter one, made it kind of softer, and then I used the gold to add little accents to it. With the dark hippogriff, it was a little bit more tricky. I didn't exactly know how to balance out the colors because I felt like it was just a little bit too dark and vibrant. Um, and I didn't exactly know what kind of pattern I wanted to make him. Uh, and then I drew a little yin and yang to kind of help me out, but <laughs> it looked really weird. Um, and then I tried something else. Whoa! Oh. Oh, right, and I have black. Oh, nice. I forgot about black. I could use the black as a shading thing, too. Oh, I could do the lighter guy more stocky and square-like, and this one more circular and kind of creepy. Okay, this one it is. So I kind of want to do more portrait mode, but I do want, like, the body in, because might just think it's like some kind of hawk. That's a little talon paw thing. Okay, all right. It's kind of a funky, but um, and then this next one will look very aggressive and kind of hideous. Okay, so this will be the first guy. I'm gonna go in with this mint blue. Just wanna do basic shapes. Yellow. 
It gives me kind of like night vibes. He's wearing the armor. Oops. Forgot about the body. Oops, it is. <gasps> Wait a second. I can do it with the brush. Because it acted like a subtraction tool. Does this work? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> this is alcohol. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of cool. It could like blend to um, from blue to yellow. Goldeny eyes. The next step is the dark. But I think I will not color in the eye part. That's tricky, but maybe I can use this to and like for texture. Ooh, I can use this side to kind of draw a little bit. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's me gold. I am gonna cheat for a little second. I this isn't from the set, but I lost a couple areas. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the bad one. Okay, so this one's got a circular head. I'm gonna go a little bit dangerous. I'm gonna do the beak yellow. I'm not sure if there's a correct way to lay down alcoholic markers like before water based or it's the other way around. For some reason this guy was really hard to choose the colors. I'm trying to make it long and kind of feathery. Let me finish his backside and legs. Ew! Skeleton <laughs> didn't mean to do that, but. Doing it with like these mixed medias, like it's definitely a build up to like the final stage where it actually starts to look a lot better. I wanted to do the nose like backwards, like the little big part was right there and then tip is up there. Oh, anyway, um, okay, I'm gonna do first no people and then see. Try on the tips of this. Okay, and then I'll go in with fresh yellow to darken it. Maybe I should just use this for shading. I don't know if I want to do it too dark. Okay, now for the tail. Um, I think blue would be best. Oh, I need to make it. I kind of want to do feathers. Right, I do outlining with black. I'll just add a teeny bit to this. Like under the eye. I think I like it. Yeah, I probably could have done something like well, I guess I could try that just in the corner just so that I can like use it. All right, thank you so much for giving me this. I don't want to see your name because of no privacy, but it was a lot of fun. And I, this one's definitely better than the first one I did. But yeah, actually I think this one's probably my favorite. Um, also just to share with you guys, I my Chromebook that I use to post my videos and stuff, um, for some reason it's, it's re acting really weird. Um, so I'm not able to comment on the comments, So, but I can see them from notifications. So if you do say something, I'll see it, but I can't answer you, so sorry about that. But uh, yeah, see you later.